Okay, so we're told that there's bags one and two. So the pick from bag one has no relation to the pick from bag two. And that's important because that means it's independent probability rather than conditional. Now the rule is that every time you have a branch on a tree diagram, they have to add up for a probability tree diagram, they have to add up to one. Okay, so I look at the bottom here, it's 11. We've used seven at the top, so that means we have four left over. So it'd be four over 11. Same thing on the right hand side, we've got 15 all together and we've got 11 at the top, so we've got four left there. Now, if the probability of picking a blue from bag two is 11 over 15 at the top, it will be 11 over 15 at the bottom as well. And therefore, the probability of picking a red will still be 4 over 15. Now, you need to have all of these fractions in there. You don't need to circle them, but you have to have them all in there to get all the marks.